Hello gamers, geeks and gays, my name's Sturx and my god I need a happy episode today. We're going to be doing a Smell the Roses episode. A few episodes early, mind you, but I think it's quite justified after the heartbreak that we went through in the last episode. I'm entitled to this. Let me have this, please. Um, I'm still not over anything. I'm not over anything that happened. Um, if you haven't seen the episode prior, this is this is your ticket. Just go go press go press the button. It's in the top right. I can't remember which corner that'll be for me now. It'll be the one that I'm in. It's here, right here. Um, go watch that. Now that those people have gone. I can't believe it. Just, I've been. I knew Poke was dead. I knew it. You know, all the Nomai are dead. But there was something visceral, some kind of like primal sadness that I felt when I saw that body. And I knew it was Poke. Even though I knew there was going to be two bodies, for some reason, when I saw that one. I knew who it was, like my heart sank. I can't remember what my exact words are, I think it was something like, oh no. And apparently that's quite common, apparently a lot of people when they see that body, they just kind of go, oh no. I feel bad for Pi. You know, it was Pi, wasn't it? I believe it was Pi. She stayed behind. I'm gonna say she. I don't actually know. In my head canon, it's, it's, they're a she, but might not be. Anyway, they stayed behind. They died first, although not by a significant margin, by how quick that stuff was going to expand. But this must be why the Nomai are dead. This, this is what happened. I think we've found out now. We know why. But I'm not going to get into that. Okay, we're not going to do that. That's depressing and sad. And I have a Firewatch episode to record after this. I need some happiness. So we're going to go to the Timber Hearth. We're going to talk to all the lovely Hearthians. Some of these we've spoken to before. I'll admit, I can't exactly remember who we've spoken to. I know we spoke to the Fisherman. I know we spoke to Slate and I know we spoke to the kids. I feel like there's a few other people we may have had a, like passing conversations with other than like you know like um hal and the other one that run this agency can't remember the name um, and to top it all off if i have time i want to go give eska a visit because i feel bad for forgetting about him <sighs> we're not even going to touch the ship today unless we maybe go see eska so let's let's say hi slate do you have anything new there's our pilot ready to get this beauty off the ground Hey, what can I do for you? Um, you're lucky I'm in a time loop. I keep getting killed by ghost matter. Let's go. Let's go about that. Not sh eh, not if you use your scout states that you won't. You dumb idiot. Did you think I made that just so you could take pretty little pictures of trees? It has multiple uses. You do know you can use it as a light source, right? Stars above. Please tell me you knew that. I did know that. Slate feels like my comment section, telling me all the things that I have done wrong. <laughs> um, the sun's going to go supernova, by the way. Oh yeah, the observatory has an exhibit about that. Between you and me, I gloss over some of the finer details. Astrophysics is really more Hornfell's than me. Me, I'm here for the rocket science and the marshmallows. Mood. Now, I know, I think we've already said, you're lucky I'm in a time loop, because otherwise I'd be super dead. And you're lucky I don't have you grounded for medical reasons because I have no idea what you're talking about. Fair enough, Slate. Did you know, Slate, that your ship is a death trap? Well, yeah, it's a death trap, but it's a really powerful death trap. What? You suddenly care about safety now? <laughs> uh, and I like, someone pointed out as well, that the main diet of the Harthians is marshmallows. Which is really cool to me. Like, the, I don't know how they're getting their nutrition out of them. Or if they're, like, really mega nutritious. They might be really mega nutritious marshmallows. Like, super marshmallows. Hey, Micah. I remember Micah. 
Um, let's see, is there anything new I can say to you? No, but I'm still going. You better be, I've been forever since... No, it's been forever since anyone launched into space. I really, really want to see it. Really bad. Hey, you want to try out my model's ship? Sight says it's just like the real thing, only less likely to start a fire. I've already, I've tried it in a past life, Micah, but thank you. Thank you, buddy. This is what we needed. This is what we need. The music. Mm, yeah, pumping me up. Alright, so I don't believe we spoke to you before. You look different. I don't remember you. Hey, oh, Hatchling! I hear you're leaving us to seek adventure among the stars. When you return, let's you, me, and Gossan open up a bottle of the good stuff. The good stuff is less delicious sap wine and more daunting digestive challenge. An iron stomach is the mark of a true hearthian, my friend. A hardy hunter-gatherer lifestyle stems from trial and error, by which I mean our ancestors survived eating a lot of bad things. I was going to say, you guys aren't really hunter-gatherers anymore. Do they have to hunt marshmallows? How do they make the mar- How do you make marshmallows? I don't even know. Oh, the astronaut returns. Tell me, what can I do for you? Any new dirt? I'm hoping to teach Esker to tap trees next time they return from the Adel Rock. If they'll bring me Luna Sap, I can attempt Moon Wine. That sounds really cool, actually. What are you up to? I just finished sealing up another batch of sap wine for aging. I like to begin aging a batch on the day of a significant occasion. You know. That's why there are so many bottles labeled structural collapse and a house fire. You're making wine for me? That's really wholesome. That's really, like, subtly wholesome. This is actually a significant day. I think we kind of lose that after we've been in space a few times. This is still a significant day. You know, this is our first foray into space. Now, I know I didn't speak to you. Rutile. Rutile? I'm going to call you Rutile. Ru. We have a Ru. This is Ru. You're actually blasting off in that thing, huh? Don't know why Ru sounds like that, but they do. They really don't explode as often anymore. All I know is between the space program and Maker's model rockets, things seem to burn to the ground around here more than they used to. That's why he sounds like that. Are you going to watch the launch? Of course. I'll be watching from a safe distance, obviously, and mostly to make sure nothing catches fire, but watching nonetheless. Do you really worry that the space program will burn the village down? Only constantly you learn to live with it. You also learn to sleep with a bucket of water next to your bed just in case. I like Ru. Right, so we use the satellite camera. Oh, and the, oh and the museum. Ah. Uh, right. That's like a that's a rocking chair. This pilot seat used by pioneering astronaut Feldspar is all that remains or inaugural flight into space. Although it's been argued such a distinction requires a breathtakingly liberal definition of flight, that day will nevertheless always be remembered as a landmark achievement in Harthian history. Yeah, I, I think that's the one where the, you know, they intentionally launched them into space. So we've got signal scope. Which I keep forgetting to use. Bit of a lag there. And also I keep forget forgetting that I can kind of like zoom in. Like I I can I feel like I'm just gonna take no I'm gonna JF Kennedy Rue. <laughs> uh, happy thoughts. Happy thoughts. Um right, so we've got signal scope, got the oxygen tanks, or are they the fuel tanks? I think they're fuel tanks. Radio. Oh, that's a scout launcher. I still don't exactly know how the scout launcher works. Because it doesn't look like it really has anything to kind of... Boom. Um, So my guess is it's some kind of funky physics. That's very much similar to our style helmet and gloves. Like, I I've noticed all the 
astronauts do have different styles. I like the boots, though. I need them boots. I'm a little bit of a freak for boots. I really like a good pair of leather, like, hiking boots. Okay, so it's less so much museum. And more just an assortment of um, memorabilia, which is fine. Hi there, Marl! So it's launch day, huh? I was going to miss you. Speaking of launch day, I was thinking about it and the platform those ships launch from is getting old. Is it about time you build a new, less flammable one? The big tree in the village would be the perfect choice. I wouldn't mind helping out the space program. Just say the word. Current launch pad is fine. Thanks, Marl. Oh, really? Dang. Well, maybe someone needs a new porch or something. A big one. Do you like cutting down trees by any chance? Is that why you're looking at it? Leave the tree alone, Marl. The tree has done nothing wrong. The tree has been here a lot longer than any of us. And it will probably be here a lot longer. That tree's got it coming. <laughs> Jesus Christ. If you swing by the moon, say hi to Esco for me. Okay, so I don't have any other things I can say about that, which is fine, I guess. Right, so I, I had a brief conversation with Nice about the instruments. Oh, look at her. Look at her! Oh. Hello there, space cadets. Are you leaving the great city today? If you meet any of the other travellers up there, remind them to take proper care of their instruments, won't you? Right, let, let's have a recap. Oh, sure, I made all their instruments, you know. Mm, let me see. This shirt's drums, Rebex banjo, and Gabbro's flute. And Feldspar's harmonica, of course. Though Feldspar's been missing for a long time. Sometimes it feels like just yesterday they were playing their harmonica around the campfire. Anyway, you hear music in space. That'll be one of the space programs of the travellers. You feel like company, you can always pull out your signal scope and track them down. Where's my instrument? Nice. Why don't I get one? I don't think I'm gonna get one. I don't know where the others are though, because like... Ah, uh, don't look directly into the sun. Okay, I was looking directly at Gabbro then. Wait, 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 wait! Wait, 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 that was new! That was new! That was new! Shirt is on the hourglass! But I didn't hear it when we were... I didn't hear it when we were there! I am so miffed! I didn't know where to go to even start looking for Chert. Oh, more sap wine. More sap wine. I like sap wine. Now, the kids are still here. We've spoken to them before. I don't want to play hide and seek again. What was your name? Spinal. Spinal. Fishing rhyme, fishing rhyme. Singing helps me pass the time. You're leaving the crater. Guess we'll all be a little busier without, without you around to lend a hand. I need to find Hornfells. Did you try the observatory? Oh, I've literally never seen them anywhere else. <laughs> true. Very true. So yeah, they're the one who told about Giant's Deep and Gabbro's story about the um, fact that you can't get to the core. You just can't. But Feldspar found a way. And that stresses me out because I want to know how they've done it. What was your name? Gosan. Oh, that's who you are. I can, I know who you are now. Hey, I thought I might see you before the big launch. Nerves getting the better of you. I'm a little nervous. Yeah. Good. Everyone should be a bit nervous before going into space. I got cocky during my first flight and nearly put a crater in the moon. Still, I was never as green as you. Hey, I've gotten, I've gotten so much. I have gotten better. Think so, do you? Feel like proving it to your old flight coach? 
there's a satellite, which is definitely not just a big broken mining equipment, set up down in the zero-g cave and in need of repairs. If you're looking for a last-minute zero-g practice, head down the lift and into the cave. Or don't, as long as you're confident you can make ship repairs in space. Ah, I'm ready for the real deal. <laughs> Damn right you are. Don't get yourself killed out there, you hear? Now that I've put this much work into training you. Go on. Go make Outer Wilds Ventures proud. About that, Gosan, I might have died quite a few times. And thanks to Sergei, we know exactly how many times I've died. <laughs> Keep up the good work, dude. Uh, not making me regret it at all. Oh my god. Oh, water. Where does the water go? Where does the water go? Where does the water go? I might need to find out sometime. Don't know why. I just, I just, I just feel like I need to go see where the water goes. Well, we have actually spoken to everyone then. Gay. So you know what that means. You know who we're gonna go see now. It's the, it's that time. I'm hoping I have the time. We're gonna go say hello to the person who never gets the recommendate like. The recognition that they deserve. Recommendation. I recommend going to see the man on the moon. You're going to have that on a t-shirt. Just go see the man on the moon. Go see Eska. Remember Eska. Then it'll slowly turn into, who's Eska? Question mark. <laughs> whose house is whose? I want to know which house is ours in all of this. I wonder if we know. I wonder if we know. I don't know. That'd be interesting. Try to deduce whose house is whose. Some people's houses, I think, are very obvious. I feel like they are very obvious. You know, like, you, they're outside the houses. Right. Fun fact, when I was kind of doing my tracking down footage for, um, like, behind the scenes stuff and, like, the, the outros, I definitely did not crash into the Atoll Rock. It was quite funny to be fair. I was sat waiting, um, getting like a... Nearly did just the same thing there. Um, I was trying to get like a good shot of the sun or something once. Um, and then the next thing I know, the Atoll Rock just came... I was in its orbit and it just knocked me straight out of the sky. It was a good giggle though. I had a good giggle. The ship didn't. The ship barely survived it. Alright, let's go say hello. Oh! The quantum moon's here. How lovely. Now, out of interest. I was going to see if I could land there and get out and not have to put the spacesuit on. But I don't think I'm going to be able to. We'll, we'll, we'll stop here. We'll be a responsible astronaut. I don't know where this flashlight is coming from. I have seen the player model. We do not have a flashlight. Now we do. Alright. Let's go tag Eska as well. Hi, Eska. How we doing, buddy? Ah, oh, hey, it's you. Grand Garden, tell me you're launching. Long time no see. Actually, I guess it's been a long time since I've seen anyone. <laughs> Miles says hi. <gasps> Miles probably the only one who remembers I'm up here. I should go see the big look soon. Don't tell them about this, but sometimes I throw my little scout down there to make sure Miles isn't doing anything stupid. I worry that big tree in the village wouldn't stand a chance with the wilds. Don't go! Uh, I mean... Anything else you want to ask? Hmm. Was that you whistling, Eska? I know we've talked to them about this before, but let's just make small talk. Probably. Oh, actually, definitely. The other travelers carry instruments so they don't bother whistling. You can pick up their music with a signoscope, you know, best spot for that's on the North Pole. Great reception. North Pole's about in red and mini map, but Adam Rock's pretty small moon, really. Just go north, you can't miss it. Don't even the travellers come by. 
Uh, lunar outpost saw more traffic back with our ships were less sophisticated and needed more frequent repairs. Nowadays, it's mostly used to keep a set of eyes on things. Sometimes, Cherub comes by to say hi, but Capro's Capro, and you know how Reback feels about unnecessary space flight. We do. We, we've met Reback now. I, I understand that. I just... Oh, wait, I didn't... I, I, I didn't think I... Ah! I'm in the loop! Help! There we go. Talk to you later, Eska. Isn't this just nice? I mean, it looks like we've got so much time left as well, like... There's so many stars still. Let's... let's have a wander around the Owl Rock. Because there's a few things I feel like we, we've kind of seen from orbit and missed. Oh, so we do this. Like, I know... Oh, speak of the devil. Oh. Is this like the, the site of the first mission to the Owl Rock? Oh. Let's... Oh! That's a ship. A very low poly ship. <laughs> But, that's a ship nonetheless. Whose ship is that? Is that one of Felspar's, maybe? Oh, who was it? Someone literally just mentioned something about crashing on the moon. I'm pretty sure they did. I'm like 90% sure that they did. Maybe. There goes the interloper. Is it on a direct course this time? Yeah, I don't think that one's gonna. Yeah, the sun's got it now. I don't know if it's gonna come back out the other side or not. Happy thoughts! Happy thoughts, Sturks. We're not doing anything sad today. Let's go have a look around. Ooh, crater. There's, there's got to be stuff that we haven't seen on the Atoll Rock, right? So we, we haven't been here too, too much. Right, we've seen the Southern Observatory. And I believe we have interacted with everything. Oh, no. I was going to say, that can't be the music, can it? No, that's... That's because I went there and know my ruin. That's fine. Everything's fine. What the flip is... What is this? Chert's research, research notes, property of Chert. This is an old crater. The neat thing here is that the composition of samples I took from the impact site matches the composition of the ice on the outskirts of Dark Bramble. I would posit the Atoll Rock was hit by a piece of the planet that used to be where Dark Bramble now lies. To follow up on, maybe there are more fragments of the old planet's Dark Bramble destroyed on other astral bodies in the solar system. So Dark Bramble isn't the name of the planet then. That bramble is the thing that's coming out of it. Which is, to be fair... Oh, no! No. Nearly. Nearly, nearly, nearly. Let's see if I can get back to Wesker just in time. I don't want to... I don't want to be alone. I don't want to be alone for this one. Just in time. Let's just... <sighs> ooh, ooh, ooh. This is the way. Dead 
There we go. <sighs> the last thing I see. Priorities. Sun's about to go supernova. And I'm having some marshmallows with my good friend, Eska. Uh, I love... I love this. I, I think I say that at least once every episode. I just love everything about this game. It's ridiculous. Oh boy. Why am I yawning? I needed this. I needed this. This felt good. This was therapeutic. This was a much needed experience. So we now know where Chert is. So I can go and potentially find Chert. We now... So there's Chert. I feel like going and speaking to Gabro again or Rebeck would be quite good now that we've learned more. Um, I need to remember to go back and see people um, as the story progresses. Especially people who have a, a bit more underlying knowledge of things. So like Rebeck, he's the archaeologist. He's a know my expert. He might know things. Um, Gabro might have some insight into things so that we know a bit more about what the hell's going on. And Chert, I know nothing about Chert, other than that they seem to be going to a lot of places. Chert seems to be quite research heavy. Um, they have a lot of interesting theories, so maybe it could be interesting to go find them. I just, I'm still flabbergasted that they're actually on the Hourglass Twins, because I was there, and I thought I would have picked up on their signal. I need a coffee. Good thing I got one already. Ah. Uh, anyway, guys. Thank you all for the love and the support. Um, it's crazy how much attention this channel's been getting. And how interactive and lovely you all are. Uh, if you haven't already, we've got a community Discord. The link is in the YouTube bio. And also, we've got a Twitch account that every once a week I go live on Twitch. You guys come and hang out, and we just have a nice, fun time as well. So feel free to join that in, because I, I love this community we're building. And like I said last episode, I'm worried about the community getting too big, because I feel like then I can't have the personal interactions I do with you guys. But I'm going to keep trying, because this is me. This is what I do. Oh, that's a firefly. I thought that was a we. <laughs> I thought that was like a star or something. I was like, how have I not seen that before? Anyway, guys, I'm going to go chill. Tell I I'm going to go record another episode now. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, however, I have been Sturks. You guys have just been incredible. And I'll catch you all later in the next part of our adventure.